So today I'm trying something completely new and a little bit scary. I'm actually gonna go out and paint outside. Not something I normally do. I'm usually in, in the confines of the house looking at a screen painting. So I've got my easel with me and my, all my equipment and I'm gonna go paint something towards the back of our house. There's some chickens. So it's not too far today, just a little uh, walk out the back and you might hear some goats. Yeah, there they are. You might hear some goats in the background there, just over there. Oh, they're a bit shy. There they are, they're coming out now. So I'm thinking of painting. Wow, the sky's really nice today. I'm, I'm thinking of painting uh, this scene over here, which is our neighbor's house, just over the fields. Yeah, so I'm gonna give this a crack and see how it goes. Yeah, so you can see I've got my easel set up now. Bit of a nightmare to get up actually, to be honest. This was not sitting properly in there, so that took a while to, to get sorted, uh, to get it so that it doesn't blow away. Because it's pretty windy today, uh, even though I've kind of come behind these trees here. So I get a bit of protection from the wind over there. It's coming from the west. It's cold, so I've got these big massive gloves on which uh, is probably going to make it really hard to uh, paint with but I'm going to try it out and see what happens. I've got some other gloves with me if it doesn't work. So I've got my setup here, I've got this palette that I actually made from a some of my children's, they had like a whiteboard type thing um, that they drew on and uh, I kind of stole that actually, didn't I Ina? Yeah, yeah. And uh, made these sides myself uh, so they just folds over basically both sides and i've got my panel here ready to go okay girls ready bit of water there to clean the brushes off oh no is it gonna rain oh it's raining oh no oh that's not good the goats are going in it's actually snowing yeah <laughs> it's actually snowing now what a start eh Actually quite lucky, these trees are stopping quite a lot of that snow coming through, but yeah, still driving across there. Yeah, the snow stopped now, so that was lucky. That was a bit of a, that was a bit unexpected, wasn't it, girls? that would be good to get started now anyway. Right, let's take a little bit of that burnt umber. I can start sketching in. So I'm thinking of doing something like that there because this panel is like that so i'm gonna go yeah maybe crop it in here have a bit more over here yeah let's give it a crack see what happens perspective there oh, it's not easy with these gloves on Trying to get that sloping away a little bit there. Let's take one of these brushes. That one there looks good. Take a bit of medium. Get these darks in there. Yeah, I'm gonna need a bit of cad yellow, I think. A bit of that there. Yeah, you can see how cold it is, look at my hands. Nice bit of highlight there, just poking out behind the hedge. Give a bit of perspective. Still windy, still cold, but it's lovely to be outside. Yeah, fingers are starting to go numb. 
inside my gloves even though they're massive and thick but it's about one degree today that's about 33 Fahrenheit I think bringing in a bit of ultramarine blue just to get that kind of blueness in there really maybe a bit of sap green would help oh. I haven't actually used this before so it'd be interesting to see what it does not so bad so crack good thing is working outside is you, you just want to work fast because it's absolutely freezing Just trying to match that white on the house over there. That's way too um, warm. Let's get a bit more blue in there. I found I'm guessing way too dark when I'm uh, mixing these colors outside. So it seems like I need to just go mega bright with, uh, with these colors. Oh, what's that up there? The bird of prey. I think Ben Woodhams would know what they are. I have no idea. I think I'll try and match that yellow on the side of the building there. No, nope. way off again. More cadmium yellow. It's been heck, man. Right, okay. Ooh, yeah, maybe it's slightly too bright, but I could bring in a little bit of that, maybe. Maybe that'll help. That's no good, that. I think maybe some yellow ochre in there. I don't think I've got that color right. Yeah, I'll get it in and then I can always tone it down in a bit. It's actually really nice outside that you can just stand way back, back here and look at the painting. Whereas when I'm in my studio, well, I say studio, spare room painting, it's quite difficult to um, see the whole painting because I'm really close up to it. But this is, um, makes it much easier. Now the reason I wanted to try this actually, this outdoor painting, is because uh, I just heard so many people say that it's like it makes your painting just improve basically. <laughs> you just get much better at it and you can see light and shadow much easier. Now I've got to be careful because I'm starting to, I actually started to just draw these tree trunks in and I shouldn't do that, I should not be drawing what I think I see, but what I can actually, what, what is there really. So I'm going to try and just mix that up a little bit. Yeah, right, now I'm going to get this guy in. Yeah, now you can see the sun's come out again and it's making it actually really difficult to see what I'm mixing up here. It was much easier when the, uh, when the sun wasn't out. Not complaining though, it's nice. Look at that green over there, wow. That's gonna be tricky, I think the sky is gonna be tricky. But, let's give it a crack, see what happens. It's really, really purple, isn't it? A lot greyer. It's a lot greyer, so how do I do that? Opposite of blue, orange. Do a bit of that then. Absolutely freezing out here. So I've actually introduced a little bit of this uh, Naples yellow into the mix and I th think it's helped quite a bit because you kind of get that vanilla sky feel to it. Yeah, I think it's kind of working so I'm going with it for now. It's actually really nice being outside because you get a, a more of a complete experience painting I think. 
because you can you can hear every, hear the sounds and you can smell the smells and feel the absolutely freezing cold weather. It's just standing still for so long. Whoa. Oh, just jog a bit. Oh man, it's cold. There's a crow. Smells death. Waiting for my waiting for me to catch hypothermia and die, I think, so I can feast on my carcass. Oh, I think I'm getting a bit delirious. It's probably a good idea to get indoors soon. Oh, my eyes are starting to run now. There. Uh. Yeah, it's pretty cold. Oh, it's cold. Yeah, it's very cold. Feet are gone them now. You know what? It's got so cold now, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna finish this off inside because it's absolutely freezing. <sighs> yeah, maybe you can see from my face how uh, cold it is out here. My face has actually gone numb. Can't really feel so much anymore. Um, but there's the painting, I think it's all right. Um, I think I can do a lot more to it indoors, uh, but I think it's a good start. Yeah, so I'm just gonna pack up all my kit now and uh, actually, you know what, I'm gonna leave it and then uh, go have a coffee and come back out, thaw off a bit inside and then uh, come and pack stuff away. So thanks for watching anyway. Goats are still out. They don't feel the cold. Lucky things. Got a nice thick coat on. All right, I'm going in. <laughs>